Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is a Marley Leading Edge ceiling fan here. It's 56 inch. It's the light duty commercial version with the rounded blades and then they're straight and not curved. Here's the motor. Some stickers on the top. I don't have the lower canopy on right now because, or the upper canopy because it won't fit. This is not the original down rod. This, this down rod came off of an SMC fan, but I'm using it because the original down rod is too long for this ceiling. So, we'll go ahead and turn it on. Now the control, I'll show off in a different video, but I got it at Habitat for a dollar. So we'll go ahead and throw it on low. Well, with this particular control is pretty standard and it doesn't really move any air at all. But it's nice and slow. Alright, we'll switch it up to medium. There's medium. Medium starts to move some air, but it's nothing ridiculous. And you'll see it's wobbling. This fan, I did not really, I did not balance it at all, so it wobbles actually pretty bad. Uh, I could try to balance it, but I only have it up for a short amount of time, so it's not worth it. All right, so here's high. And you'll see the wobble gets pretty bad. It takes a minute to get up to speed. You can see it's really wobbling up there. But it's moving a lot of air. Definitely more air than the any of my residential fans. I'd say it's just a tad more than my K55 type fans move. Alright. Turn it off. I'm going to slow it down here. So we can just go from zero to high. Alright, so we got that turned off. I'm just going to go straight to high. Okay, just stop spinning. There we go. So we can see how long it takes to get up to full speed. Not quite there yet, I don't think. pretty close. So it's not a terribly fast fan, but it does move pretty good air. And we'll get a little bit farther away here. And it moves a lot of air. About here I can feel a breeze coming off of it. I'm about uh, eight feet from it maybe, but if I go much further away it diminishes quite a bit. So now, we're going to turn it off and do spin down. And 
And now this thing's gonna take forever to do a spin down, so. Of course, it's a uh, steel bladed and a steel motor. So, it's got a lot of force behind it, and the bearings are new, so it doesn't stop that quickly. Here's how that looks without the other uh, light lighting it up. This is the most powerful fan I have right now, though I know it's not as much as some other ones out there, but this is still pretty good. As far as these types of commercial and industrial fans go, I'd say this one's probably in the middle as far as build and performance. I, at one point, if you remember my channel, those videos aren't up anymore, but I used to have one of those Menards turn of the century industrials. I never tested it, but it felt a lot crappier and it wasn't nearly as heavy as this is. This isn't a terribly heavy fan, but it's a lot more than that fan was. And overall, the build does feel a bit better. Here's another shot. Now, this is, isn't the exact type fan, but uh, one of my grocery stores to go to has these 56 inch round, uh, these round curved blades, not the other one, but these types of curved blade, straight blade industrials. So this fan is, this type of fan I've seen quite a bit. So, spin down is almost done. See the whole fan shelf back there. We're very close. All right, and it stopped. So thanks to everyone for watching this video. Hope you found it interesting, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.